I was tagged by Simply X Couture to do or Couture um, to do the drugstore favorites tag, and I thought that this um, looked really fun, so I thought that I would do it. So I kind of have things set here in um, sections, categories, and I have a few, um, quite a few things. So I'm just going to get started. So first of all, I will just do drugstore eyeshadows, and I will start off with this CoverGirl Quad. And it is um, the CoverGirl's Eye Enhancers, and this is in neutrals. It has coffee, mink, barley beige, and mocha. And as you can see, I've had some great use out of it. It's a really, really pretty neutral palette and perfect for on-the-go looks. So I definitely like the Eye Enhancers. This is really old. I'm not even, I don't even know if they sell the four ones, the one four anymore. I haven't really actually seen them um, in the store in a while because I bought that like a really long time ago. Um, next is the Maybelline Eye Studios, and I have two of them, but I just brought this one. It is in Bronze Blowout, and I really especially like these because, um, they're very, very pretty and can create great looks, and the only downfall of them is that they have a lot of fallout, but I really like them as well because they have dome-shaped, because they're dome-shaped and ha can have more product in them. Um, next, I just brought this one. I have more, but I just got this one out. It is the, um, the eye enhancers with the, it's just the one. Um, and this one is in Lime Alive, and I especially like the ones, um, just with one, because, um, they're really cheap. They're just like $3 or something, and, um, they have a lot of colors to choose from, and, you know, I mean, that's a great big eyeshadow for just $3, so... I really like the um, CoverGirl eye enhancers that have, you know, just like one eyeshadow. And then the L'Oreal Paris um, Wear Infinite Eyeshadows. This one is in Seashell. Um, this is what it looks like. And I like especially using this for a highlight a lot. And I also like how it says what it is. You can't, you might not be able to. It says matte. It used to say matte. Um, but I just like these a lot because they're pigmented and they tell, um what consistency they are so so that is the eyeshadows that I have let me set them over here um now for face I have um two products I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder and I'm in love with this stuff um I bought it probably about a month and a half ago and um I use it every single day over my foundation um and it just really creates a flawless matte coverage, so I definitely suggest this. And then, um, okay, this foundation will work if you blend it very, very well. Um, but, you know, this is like the only foundation I ever use. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Makeup Advanced Never Fail Makeup 18 Hour SPF. 20 sunscreen and so if you um, blend this very well it cr will create a nice finish but if you do not blend it good then it will um, create lines so if you're going to use this you have to blend well okay next is um mascaras and I have two of them here both red okay the first one is Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto Voluptuous this is all I've been using lately um it just creates a really really nice effect to your lashes it bumps them up creates them um makes them look very long and thick and I just really really like them and I love the packaging. And then I as well love the packaging of this one. It's supposed to be, it looks like a telescope. It is L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Explosion Mascara. That is what it looks like. It um, easily lets you get all of your lashes. Um, and so that you won't miss out on any of them. Even the tiniest ones. And so I definitely like this. Next is... Uh, 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 I wish I could, like, stop saying, um, but 
anyways, uh, is eyeliner, and I have a gel eyeliner and a liquid one, and the gel one is, this one is from Wet n Wild, and it is, um, I don't have a name, 887, I'm pretty sure it was am Amethyst or something along that line, and it is just purple, and so I've used quite a bit of it. And it also works as a great base. It's just a really pretty purple. And then um, next is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Some people like it. Some people don't. Um, for me, I personally, I like it. Um, there's what the wand looks like. I haven't ever had any problems out of it, but, you know. And then next, I have lip um, lip products. First one is a Wet n Wild mixer, and it is in Bahama Mama. So this is what they look like. Very cute packaging, and they smell really good too. Um, I would just like apply this with my finger, and it just creates a really nice um, sheer sheen over your lips. I think it was like a dollar too. So that's you know good. And then finally <clears throat> for lips, I have this Max Factor Duo lip lip duo. It doesn't have a name. It just says um, 570 and 60. And it's just a stew, stew, a two-step process, and it's just really really pretty colors, and I like it. And then finally um, for drugstore face, I just put in here face products. I have the L'Oreal Paris Go 360 Degree Clean Deep Exfoliating Scrub, and this one is in. Uh, what is this one? Apricot, I think, is what it said. Um, I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure it's apricot. Yeah, natural apricot. And it comes with this little thing that you use to exfoliate it in with. Some people like this again, some people don't. It's just, you know, in my opinion, I like it. Um, as you can see, it has exfoliating beads in there. And... So yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. That is my drugstore favorites tag. Thank you so much for tagging me. And <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and thumbs up. Bye, guys.